Hey guys, it's Kaler. Welcome to the YouTube channel. In today's video, we have some exciting news for the future of Adobe XD. We have some sneak peeks. In the past, we've got some sneak peeks on Twitter from Andrew Shorten, who is the director of product at Adobe XD, and he's revealed some features that we've covered in a video on this channel before. But this time, him and Talon Wadsworth, who is the lead product designer at Adobe XD, hosted a live stream on the Adobe Creative Cloud channel where they talked all about the history of Adobe XD, the past, present, and future. And when they got to the future portion, they shared with us some sneak peeks for the program. So we got to see these features in action and see how they actually work in these unreal release builds of Adobe XD. This was a really interesting live stream and I actually learned a lot about the past of Adobe XD and where it came from and how the overall program has evolved into what it is today. So I will link that live stream down in the description along with Andrew Shorten and Talon Wadsworth's Twitters. So the first thing I wanted to go over in this video is this image right here. So in the live stream, they showcased the first ever build of Adobe XD back when it was called Sparkler. So this is the first build of Adobe XD. And on the left hand side, Andrew kind of mentioned that some of these tools in the toolbar aren't in Adobe XD right now, but could be coming very possibly in the future. So that was a very small hint that I thought was interesting. So on the left, I see some features that we don't have that I'm actually interested in, such as the kind of triangle or polygon tool, I would assume that is. And so I wanted to ask you guys what you thought some of these tools actually are, and if you think they'll be coming in the future of Adobe XD. And also I thought this was just really cool. This is what Adobe XD came from. This is the first ever build. So I just wanted to showcase this in this video. So this first sneak peek is the ability to link to the entire asset panel from one document. So in this version of Adobe XD, we're going to have an add assets button of some kind. And when that is selected, it's going to bring up a box that's going to allow you to select any of your documents from the cloud. So here he's gonna choose his style guide and it's going to import that entire asset panel into this document. And you can do this for hundreds of other documents that you're working on that need to link to this original style guide. So this is gonna work very similar to how symbols react now. He's gonna drag out a button and then back in the original style guide, if he makes any changes, it's going to pass it on to that document and every other document that's linked to these assets. And it's gonna do the same thing it does now. It's gonna give you a preview of that and then you can then accept the update. So with this feature, it's going to bring us to more of a design system and I think it's gonna work really great for larger projects. So let me know what you guys think of this first feature down in the comments and let's move on to the next one. So this second feature is gonna be revolving around symbols and creating variants of the same symbol. So right here, he's got an action button that is grouped as a symbol and then he's gonna create a duplicate of this. And when he creates this kind of second instant of this button, he's gonna be able to do whatever changes he wants without adjusting the kind of master button. And so you notice he just changed the width and it didn't affect the original one whatsoever. And then the really cool thing is, since he hasn't adjusted the color in the second instance of the button, he can go back to the master and change the color and it automatically sends that to the second instance of that button, which is super cool. So whatever hasn't changed in the second instance can be updated in the master copy of that button. So that one was a bit tricky for me to understand. I kind of had to see that one, but I do think that is a great addition to the program. Let me know your thoughts on that one in the comments as well. So this last sneak peek we got is a really impressive one. They talked about how this was a very hard feature to implement. And so this one is going to be live collaboration, real time editing in the same document over multiple people. So right here, he's gonna go up in the corner and he's gonna invite somebody to the file. So first he's gonna save it to the cloud, then he's gonna send an invite over to Andrew, and then Andrew is gonna go ahead and open that up, and they can both edit this in real time. So you can see he just sent the invite, he's got a little green notification for that. And then over here, Andrew in his Adobe Creative Cloud app is gonna get a notification where he can then click on that and it will open the file automatically for him. And again, I do wanna mention that these are unreleased versions of Adobe XD, so things may change and look different later on, uh, but this is just extremely cool to see. He just typed out, hi, Andrew, and then on his screen, he can see that as well. And they can design and work together in the same interface and overall just collaborate in the same document. That is all three of the sneak peeks that were shown in this live stream. Again, I'll have a link to the full live stream down in the description as well as Talon and Andrew's Twitter so you can check those out too. 
So that is all the Adobe XD news I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. As far as the program goes, I think these are solid additions and I can't wait to get my hands on them. I look forward to having that kind of collaboration and design system capability of Adobe XD in the future. So if you haven't left a comment yet, let me know what your favorite of these three sneak peeks were down in the comments below and we can start talking about it down there. And that's pretty much it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Consider giving it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe for more design design related content. Make sure you have that notification bell on so you don't miss a video. And as always, have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one.